Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alvo here with KissAnalog.com. Today I wanted to uh, go through a test, a capacitance test, uh, with all these multimeters. Um, I've never known if I could really trust my hand multimeter to give me a good value. And, um, you know, as a switch mode power supply design engineer, doing audio uh, design as a hobby, um, often I want to know what my capacitance is. So I've usually opted for a more expensive LCR meter and starting up my lab, um, I bought this meter over here uh, fairly inexpensively. I'm going to go over the price on that. Um, but what can you read reliably on a handheld meter that has that capacitor option? Um, surprisingly pretty good results I'll show you those and uh, anyway so let's get to it I'll show you what I found okay for a closer look here's the CEM LCR meter the DT9935 and Tektronix TX1 TX3 another TX3 without the holster just to see if, you know, I just want to test all the meters individually and to see within the same brand if they're measuring the same thing. The Fluke 189, the Astro AI WH5000A, the least expensive meter in this group, and DMM157 from Tektronix, DM870 from Tektronix, and two DMM916s here on the end, and the Fluke 8060 and the Mastic are not in this test. And up there is another DMM157 that I did take readings from, but um, anyway, there's the meters, a closer look. Okay, so what I have here is I have all these multimeters lined up and they all have capacitance um, feature or functions where they can measure capacitance. And they're all auto ranging except for this little Tektronix. Um, he actually has four ranges and he has three ranges or four, uh, so yeah, three ranges of uh, current. So I thought he might be a little bit more accurate reading capacitance and current. So that's why I got him, plus he is inexpensive, like 75 bucks. So, um, and I like Tektronix, so I'm right. just, and that guy over there is the LCR meter. He, I got specifically to re read capacitance and inductance and uh, uh, but anyway so I took six different capacitors here's a big one 400 microfarad and then these two smaller uh, tandems these three are tandems wet slug tandems actually then a couple ceramics and uh, and um, um, oh that, that guy just turned off and this one here's a film cap um, it's actually a safety rated type film cap it's um, so we have different types of caps different uh, values and they're going from a 0.01 microfarad on up to 400 microfarad oh, so. the way I took the readings is I use this set other than the LCR I use this uh, lead set connected it to the capacitor and then moved it from the meter to each meter so that I wouldn't uh, disturb uh, this setup so it'd be pretty much the same for every meter. I expected to see some readings all across the board. Actually I was pretty impressed. Um, these meters did a great job and there was some kind of interesting things that developed on some of these meters and I made some notes and so um, let's see I don't know if you can see that very well but you probably pause that and we'll talk about these things here I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this for a moment put the prices of these meters here so you can also compare the price I paid for each one of these meters um, let me just be right back after I do that all right so I hope you can read this this is um, the notes on the on the results um, essentially what I have here are the types of caps across here the film 0.15 microfarad, the ceramic, 0.01 microfarad, another ceramic, it was an 8.2 nanofarad, or 
eight two microfarad, and then a couple wet tannins of four point two microfarad and an eight point two microfarad, and a four hundred microfarad wet tannin. And this is the results of these different meters, and they all vary within. God, I was really, really impressed. They're all within five percent or better, a few percent points. There's one that was kind of out a little bit farther, the 0.157 was probably the furthest one out. Um, 0.01 is also the same story, all the way down, very close readings, uh, all the way along. They they all did a very good job. Uh, anyway, there you go. Hope that's helpful, and I think you can trust your capacitance readings on your handheld devices. Now, if you're doing things like oscillators or timing circuits uh, where you need precision well then of course you know you need precision and might you might need more a better tolerance uh, than the meter might give you but you know for general capacitance readings um, from you know 8.2 nanofarads all the way up to 400 microfarads uh, seemed like I got pretty good readings so Hope you liked that, and that was just a quick test. Uh, something I was interested in, I, uh, some of you might have been as well. Thank you.